Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you my top three favorite toilets and I'll finish with the number one toilet that I recommend. Let's get at it. This one's by Kohler. This is one I strongly recommend and I'll show you a couple of features I really like about it. This toilet only uses 1.28 gallons per flush, so it's very water efficient and it does a great job of flushing. So if you know, when they first came out with this style of toilets that use very little water, they didn't flush very well. So through a lot of technology, let's take the back of this off carefully. And the new flushing mechanisms that we have back in these makes it so they do flush really well. Well, let's lift it up and give it a try. So one of the things I love too is the majority of the water comes out of this side right here, kind of swishes around, helps clean the bowl, does a good job of pushing it down. It does have that hole right there at the very bottom that helps to push that toilet paper and whatever else through the big hole. So it does a really nice job of it. So this Kohler toilet is what I'm gonna call the middle of their line. You can go to your hardware store and pick one of these up. I'll also put a link to this one down in the description down below and you can kind of do your homework. Kohler is a great company to go with. So moving on, this is another Kohler toilet. This is a really nice one again, in my opinion. This one right here is looks a lot like the one we just reviewed. Again, it's a 1.28, has modern flushing technology. Carefully lift that up. This one has a great flush. Again, 1.28 gallons of water is not very much water, but it has a very nice, strong flush. It's a toy that all three of my kids use, and they do not plug it up very often, which is a miracle in my household. So strong flush. You'll notice though, when the water came down, it didn't do that kind of circle thing around the side of the bowl. It kind of has more of a traditional water kind of going slightly in a circle, but sort of straight down towards it. A flush. It does have that extra sort of jet right here that helps to push that stuff down the big hole. So again, another one I'd strongly recommend. I'll put this one down in the description as well. Now notice both of these Kohlers are slightly taller. So in today's toilets, you can get these so that they are, I believe ADA uh, compliant is, is the big reason they came out with these taller toilets, but they're much more comfortable. Also for me and my household, we really like the look and the feel of the oval toilets versus the round. So those are my suggestions that I would go with. I've saved the best for last. This here last toilet is by Toto. This is the Toto Drake. My opinion, this is the way to go if you're looking for a new toilet. This one in particular is the two piece 1.6 gallon per flush. And this is the taller one, right? This is the Comfort Height or ADA compliant. Sometimes you'll see them called. And this is also the elongated bowl. Both of those are, I strongly recommend. Everyone's kind of going with the taller toilets and that elongated, this is the way I would go. So right now I'm on the Home Depot website. And the reason I'm on their website is to prove to you that yes, Home Depot does sell Toto products. When you walk down the aisle, you'll see Kohler, you'll see American Standard, but you will not see Toto toilets up on the shelves in Home Depot. I don't know why. However, in their website, they've got all the different Toto ones, including the Toto Drake uh, original, which is what we're looking at here. Also, they have the Toto Drake 2. And they have them in all the different elongated or standard shape bowl. They have the standard height versus the ADA uh, compliant height. So you can go on here and get any one you want. You can have them delivered to your house. You can have it delivered to Home Depot, but you do have to order them. By the way, they also sell these on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description down below. So let's talk about this toilet. Why is this the number one toilet I recommend? Well, it's got that tornado flush that we saw in some of the earlier toilets as well. They put a special coating on the ceramic, which makes it so that it, the gross stuff does not stick to the porcelain as much. So it's a ceramic coating. And I think it's got like a little coating on top of the ceramic coating. Anyway, they last a long time, that coating does, and it just kind of makes it so everything flushes a little smoother, a little easier. It doesn't get plugged up as much. They say it has a bigger water spot size. I, I don't know. I don't recognize it quite that much, but I guess the idea is the, the more water that's covering the porcelain, then there's less gross stuff that can stick to the sides. This is a big one. For cleaning, this is a rimless design, so it's a little bit easier to clean. This particular one that I've gone to is set up 
preset up with a hole in the upper left kind of corner that you can see. And it's set up so that if you wanted to get one of these washlet bidets, which I'll put a link down in the description of that too. But that's pretty cool. I've never used a bidet myself, but uh, it seems like they're gaining a lot of popularity recently. Here's a couple more pictures you can take a look, but this is the one I strongly, strongly recommend. This is the one I'm gonna start putting in uh, all the rental uh, homes that I go to. Seems like they need a lot less maintenance and they'll kind of just do their own thing for years and years and years, as well as my house, by the way. And I, I enjoy kind of trying out different products, but now that I've tried this one here, this is the only one I wanna go back to. So this one is selling, you can see $455. It is not cheap, I understand that. And if you go to the Drake, to the Toto Drake 2, it's even a couple hundred dollars more than that. So if you have that money to kind of splurge a little bit, it's definitely worth it. I understand if you don't, but if you do have that in your budget, this is the way I would go. Moving on to the two worst toilets. This one right here is by American Standard. I used to love American Standard toilets. I thought they made really good products. The problem is that a lot of these toilets, and this one was like a famous one right here that would, that would flush all the golf balls. But on the inside of the toilet mechanism, there's a gasket, this blue one right here. And you can see that it has little blisters or little bubbles that pop up. Those little bubbles mean that the water starts leaking slowly from the tank down to the bowl. They call it ghost flushing. This has been a huge problem with these toilets. Other than that gasket, the toilet works fantastic. Flush as well. Everything else on it works pretty well, but it's not worth it. Now, here's the final one. This old school toilet right here. This one is a 1.28 uh, gallons per flush, but it's a terrible toilet. You can see it still has the old fashioned style mechanisms in here. And with only 1.28 gallons per flush, it was compliant, meaning that it was not flushing very much water, which we all liked because we're all trying to conserve water. However, this toilet was one of the first that came out. So the flush is super weak. Let's take a look at it. I'll put a little piece of toilet paper in here just to show. I, I'm not kidding. It doesn't take much more paper than that to, to plug it up. It's a total nightmare. Um, but anyway, it looks okay. It seems like it would work fine. But when you actually flush the toilet, it just has no power whatsoever. Hey, friends. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.